in our last lesson i was cover to creating payroll database now it's time to create payslip for each employee to distribute the salary now go to payslip here i have created a simple template for for payslip you can do it by yourself or you can download this file from working file section now this is the heading of the company now i am going to use an upper case the name of the company here and here i am going to use the employee code is equal this one you can see i have retrieved the employee code now we have to create a single page list on base of this single page list we will just copy paste this and just change the employee name now i am going to i have needed the employee name over here for this purpose i am going to use v lookup v lookup value is employee code on the basis of employee code then table array our table and our table array is this one press f4 and then press column index i have needed column column index number 2 because it's consists of name 1 2 so i'm going to write 2 and then 0 you can see over here the name is retrieved from payroll database to page that here i am going to use designation just control v which i have copied from over here control c and here paste it down and here designation is on column index number 3 i am going to just use number 3 and here f2 control v paste the formula which i have copied earlier and just uh, basic salary is on column index number 4 and work days is on column index number 5 6 you can see over here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 on column index number 6 our work days and here is just paste it and this is on 6 7 8 column index number 8 this is gross salary and on column index number 8 9 10 on 10 there is our advances and f you can f2 control v f2 control v and this is on 11 this is on 12 and here you can see our both debit and credit side the equals 5500 5500 and you can see over here the employee gross salary is 5500 and advances 5000 1200 loan and account receivable 1500 and net payment is you can calculate this one like this way gross salary minus this minus this minus this 42800 is the employees net salary which we have to pay now now we have completed a payslip for one employee just copy this and paste it down and just change the employee code from emp1 to emp2 emp02 you can see over here all the data is copied and retrieved on the basis of employee number 2 here you can see 3 How many employees are there? There are seven employees, so we have to copy the page seven times and just change the employee code. You can get the page slip. Now it's time to print this page slip. I want to print on A4 size three page slips. Selection and uh, selection preview. Here you can see. Three page, three page slips are ready to print. So, if you have any queries and feedback regarding this course, you can send us to me. You can send us and 
If you like and enjoy the course, don't forget to rank my course. Thanks a lot for taking this course. Wish you good luck for your future.